From a young age, I've always wanted a camper van. So when my first car was a Peugeot 307 SW estate car, when I looked in the back, I saw quite clearly I could get a mattress in here. So I decided to convert my car into a camper van. And let me show you how I did it. Okay, so the first thing we have to consider, obviously, is these chairs, but luckily they're very easy to take out. Okay, so now we've got loads of space, but have a look at this. So you can see that I've got loads of space in here now, but have a look at these ridges here. These are not going to be comfortable to sleep on at all, you know, unless you've got some kind of back problems, maybe it works as like a chiropractic car. I don't know, is this good for your spine? Probably, but it's not really what I'm looking for. I want a soft, even bed when I'm sleeping in the car. Okay, so as you can see, I've built this frame out of a solid piece of plywood. I managed to get the dimensions by getting a really big bit of wallpaper. I got, I kind of spread it across the floor of the car, and then I just marked out the vague shape. Uh, so yeah, I've got one solid piece here. And then in order to support it, because of the different platforms and levels on the cut floor of the car, I had to cut these um, these legs to different sizes so towards the back of the car. You can see it's much shallower, but as we go further and further back, it gets deeper and deeper. So there's three legs. There's one to go on this platform, one to go on this platform, and one to go on this platform. Big shout out to my dad for giving me a hand with this, and for lending his wood to the cause. We just pulled down this big old shelving unit in the garage, so it's always good to reuse wooden materials when possible, but if not, you can always go to your local DIY store to get stuff. Here I am removing nails from the wood, measuring it out, and then cutting it down to sides so it fits perfectly in order to compensate for the different tiers of the back of the car. So it fits, creating a nice level surface. Here, here, and here. So, once I've built that, fantastic. Now to get it in the car. Now this was not an intentional design, but after I finished building it, this leg comes off quite easily. That makes it a lot easier to get it in and out of the car. Okay, so for the mattress, I just have like a memory foam mattress topper. It's quite thick and it does quite a good job in just like making it really cushiony and comfortable to sleep on. And over that, I've just got a mattress protector and a, uh, a sheet as well. And that all just tucks nicely here, but come a little bit closer through the storage area. Underneath where these stilts are, I've got space to put guitars, bags, camping stoves, you know, whatever's needed really. So this is the, a really good storage area. So just because my boot is filled with this bed and this mattress, it doesn't mean that I can't bring anything with me anymore, which is pretty wicked. Just add a couple of pillows. Now, I've got a pretty comfortable bed. That's actually really comfortable. Got no problem sleeping here at all.
Good night. So as you can see, I've got a pretty comfortable camper van with just an old estate car. And I've actually had some amazing adventures with this. I've driven it to Switzerland and back, going all throughout Europe. And if I ever want to go to the beach and sort of like do some surfing, I can just stay the night in the car park, go surfing in the morning, come back and even have another nap. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this is inspiring for you. Uh, if you enjoy this video and you want to see some more, then like, subscribe and peace out.